couple of strategic tips that you can um, apply throughout the whole term. Um, I'd like to start with the class resources and uh, to share with you that learning statistics is an iterative process. These courses run, the statistics courses run differently from other courses at Walden. It, it just goes a bit deeper than reading it a chapter in a book or a couple of articles and then be able to write a paper about it. Oftentimes you want to start early in the week on Monday with reading the theoretical book and then you turn on your computer, open SPSS and work in your more practical book for the 8210 course that is the Wagner book. By the time you have um, done that, maybe there are a couple of videos you want to uh, watch or you know, you go to our um, academic skill center to look at some resources there. Uh, it's a back and forth, right? That's what I mean when I say iterative. You won't get it from reading a book one time, but it's a back and forth. I have um, created a diagram that you should be able to see here on the um, screen. The, I placed the classroom resources in the middle here for a reason. I think it's best to stay in the classroom as much as you can with the books that are recommended, videos, article, there might be some outside links, but I don't want you to venture too much out of the classroom and that's why I place the outside resources a little bit, you know, to the right here. Uh, you, you never know when you're on YouTube and you click through a whole list of videos whether everything you see there is reliable. And I see the statistical experience more like an experience like um, Alice in Wonderland. You're on a trail, you're trying to stay on the straight and narrow, but on both sides of the trail are rabbit holes. Whatever you are presented in the classroom is just a sliver of a statistical theory or a statistical concept. It goes much deeper than what you see there and it's easy to fall into these rabbit holes stay mostly in the classroom. If you want some additional information or some additional resources, you, you can always reach out to us at the Academic Skills Center and we can point you in the right direction. You also have um, access to the CRQ resources. That is an, a center for research quality um, resources that live in your classroom, but they are much bigger than what you see there. They're hosted at something that's called a study hall. And I place the login and a password here. If you've been in your 80 to 10 class, uh, classroom, you've probably already seen that. And of course, here are some uh, additional resources that we provide. Now, the learning experience at Walden is not a learn it yourself, right, um, experience. We are there to learn from each other. We're there to learn from our instructor and the interaction on the discussion uh, board is really helpful to your learning process. I find that learning process very important for statistics courses because when you, in your 8210 course, when you post on Wednesday night and you come back on Thursday and Friday, on Saturday, and read posts of your peers, you really deepen your understanding. And, you know, after a while, it might even be fun to see what kind of variables are your peers using, why did they use these variables, what is the instructor saying about it, you know, where did they um, stay on track and where did they veer off maybe a little bit. It's fun to start recognizing that. And you need that deepening process because by the time Sunday night comes along, you're going to have to run that test one more time with another data set and you want to have that concept really clear to you, right? The courses are progressive, so they build from week to week. So you want to make sure that you grasp everything that's available to you in that week one before you really open up the book for week two, because you're going to need to apply what you learned in week one, in week two, and so on and so forth. So you want to take that time to deepen um, the concepts. And it's a matter of percolating, right? It, it, these statistical concepts need time to percolate in the brain. So visit that discussion um, area every day. I also recommend, you know, build a support system. Do you have peers, maybe people you met at residencies or people in your classroom? You know, reach out to them. You can learn with them, but of course, don't share work. But there's nothing that says that you cannot discuss your statistical experience with your peers. Some classrooms, and I know that the 8260 course has that, the advanced course, they have um, collaboration labs. Use them. That's what they're there for. 
as the class cafe or a lounge. We offer drop-in sessions at the Academic Skills Center. Twice a week, I host a drop-in session. We get a really nice group there, and it's a loyal group, right? The students that come in the first week, they're still with me in week 11. And it's a wonderful uh, group tutoring session, which provides a really nice learning platform because you're not just there learning from the presenter, you're also learning from each other. You can also email us as statistics tutors and Jessica will share some links for that later. And you can book tutoring sessions with us. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. As I said, um, stay on track in this course is important. As I mentioned, it's a progressive course. That means you don't wanna fall behind. If you um, are two, three weeks behind in, um, in your work, it's very easy, pardon me, it's very difficult to write a paper in these advanced weeks because you're missing, you know, that knowledge in your, um, in your knowledge base and you're going to have to catch up with that. At the same token, do not work ahead too much because you're not allowing yourself that process to absorb um, the information. These courses are going to help you to think like a researcher. It's like being elevated to the executive chair where you sit as a researcher, you uh, come up with research questions, you have a new best friend that is SPSS that handles all the statistical matter behind the scenes with all the formulas. But remember, SPSS is a um, fancy statistical calculator, right? You've all heard the phrase garbage in, garbage out. Make sure you ask SPSS to do the, the um, to perform the right actions because you have to interpret the information when it comes out of there and it has to be sound. I also want to mention that there are huge benefits to these statistics courses. Um, as I said before, the students in the um, quantitative class, they have that option to select the advanced uh, quantitative reasoning course. If you are in that advanced quantitative reasoning course, then most likely, you are set up for the quantitative methodology for your dissertation. Regardless of which methodology that you're going to choose, whether you're going to do a quantitative or a qualitative or a mixed methods dissertation, learning how to read these quantitative articles is a great skill for your dissertation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.